So thank you for tuning in everyone. We are doing a live stream desk overhaul. There's a link to a video down below that goes into the overhaul of my main edit bay, which provided me with the computer and the monitor that I needed to overhaul this live stream setup. So if you're new to the channel, check out that video. If you have been following the channel, then you know that this is a continuation of the last video to show how we went from the old setup in there to the new setup in here. I'm gonna be throwing in my 2013 Mac Pro to replace my 2013 Retina MacBook Pro and I'm gonna reconfigure my monitor so I have a little bit more monitoring options. The big objective is to install some new monitor arms, install maybe two more monitors and work on figuring out what's the best configuration for those and then making sure everything's working and talking to each other and all of that good stuff. So without any further ado, let's just get right into it. All right, so I've got all the stuff spread out here, a 4K Dell display, my 2013 Mac Pro, some peripherals and cables and stuff. I need to clear out some of this stuff, including this monitor, because I think I'm gonna switch this from a single monitor stand to a double monitor stand and move the single monitor stand over to this side. I've got some packaging that I got from another company that has a double monitor stand, so I'm gonna grab that. And then, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna start getting this all situated to integrate the 2013 Mac Pro. Let's do it. So yeah, everything I just said, scratch all that. I'm not gonna do the double monitor arm on the left. I'm gonna move it to the right. I'm gonna use a Thunderbolt display one mount from the monitor arm on the right to do my 24 inch 1080 monitor and then on the left i'll install my 4k 27 inch dell monitor so i think i'm gonna see if i can have the 27 inch thunderbolt display as the main display over here in the corner and then use this taller monitor pole to rig up a monitor above it. That'll be the 1080 monitor, and I think I'll put the 4K monitor over here so I can use it for demoing, video editing, etc. I purchased this double monitor monitor arm off of Amazon. It was around $40, and I'll have a link down in the description if you wanna check it out. All right, so we have the double tall monitor stand here. You can see from the picture that it can support two monitors, and I'm just gonna mount to the very top one and leave the bottom one off since I'm not gonna convert this to a visa mount, although maybe at some point I will, or if I'll just get a less expensive, lighter plastic kind of thing to have there instead of this big 27 inch uh, Thunderbolt display. But we got the poles, all the parts, the visa mount, all that. So I'm gonna get behind the monitor over here so I can mount this thing somewhere over here on the desk. These monitor arms are really easy to set up. There's not much to assemble and they're very quick to install. All right, so we gotta swap out the backplate visa mount on this 1080 Dell monitor because this plate is a little bit different between the two manufacturers of the monitor stands. Don't be intimidated by these visa adapters for your monitors. Dell makes the stands really easy to remove and these plates just screw on. It's really easy to do. You can definitely do it yourself. And I feel like with all my monitors that they're really solid and sturdy and not going anywhere. So here's the final configuration, the 4K on the left, the 1080 monitor on the top right, and then the Thunderbolt display on the bottom right. All right, so we've got uh, all three monitors in place. Now I need to tidy up a little bit on the desktop and get the Mac Pro all set up on the little shelf that I got, which is right here. And uh, then we'll get the Mac Pro fired up and make sure everything is talking to each other. So let's get to it. I think honestly, it's gonna be best to just have the Mac Pro on the desk. I don't really think we need to have it on a shelf down here and I'll use the shelf for something else. So yeah, let's just have it on the desk, call it good. I love the amount of connectivity the 2013 Mac Pro has. It's gonna make it really easy to connect those two monitors and then get it connected to the Blackmagic A10 Mini Pro as well. You know me, I'm a nut for cable management and this is one of my favorite things to do is get all the cables routed nice and tidy, everything looking clean, using plenty of Velcro strips. There's a great Alfred Hitchcock quote where he says, I get an overwhelming sense of inner peace from a well-organized desk. I think about that quote often and I really try to live by it. So we're firing up the Mac Pro. I need to get some of the peripherals connected. So I need to hook up a mouse. <laughs> so yeah, we got to get this old mouse hooked up because I don't have a Bluetooth mouse connected. So we're going to reach behind because that's what you do on this old stuff which is just terribly annoying having to reach 
reach behind there and do that. Well, everyone, we have reached a stopping point in the process of overhauling the live stream setup. I've got the 27 inch display up. I've got the program monitor up and running. I just need to get the 14 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro connected to this monitor because I wanna be able to have the MacBook Pro like on a dock in clamshell mode so I can output this monitor to the live stream. Um, and work at it more at eye level instead of down and hunched over like I have been on my live streams. And then I think I will have a sweet setup for doing live demos of video editing, Final Cut Pro updates, whatever's going on, as well as having now a more more powerful Mac Pro running the Ecamm Live setup. So yeah, I'm gonna take a break for now and come back tomorrow and resume and uh, we'll take it through the rest of the way. And I'll show you guys some snazzy B-roll of the whole setup and all that fun stuff. So thanks for being here uh, until tomorrow. We'll pick it up then. Of course, I couldn't leave it at that. Later that night, I did have to go downstairs and do some software stuff because I just really wanted to get this set up all up and running. All right, we have wrapped up the overhaul of the live stream setup. I've got my 2013 Mac Pro now into the mix, replacing my 2013 Retina MacBook Pro. I've got a 27 inch Thunderbolt display. I've got the 24 inch 1080 program out monitor and I've got the 4K Dell monitor that was replaced by the studio monitor all in the new setup. Now I can use my 14 inch MacBook Pro with a bigger monitor to send a better signal to all of you when you're watching one of my live streams where I'm live editing in Final Cut Pro. So thanks everyone for coming along with me while I overhauled my live stream setup. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Give this video a like if you like this video so other people can find out about it and maybe learn how to make their live stream setup a little bit better. If you're not subscribed, click subscribe and the bell with all notifications selected so that you get notified every time I go live on YouTube. That's all I've got for this one, everyone. Until the next one, I'll see y'all soon. And don't forget, keep chopping that broccoli. All right, everybody, what's up? This is a little tilted down, so let's tilt it up a little bit here. And that was probably pretty loud. I bet. <laughs> and that's too much. What up, everybody? And then let's get a little fill over here. A little fill. Let's get a little fill. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Okay, a clap. Yeah.